So our next speaker is Dr. Pascal Thibault from uh, Morgan Solar in Toronto. Uh, Dr. Thibault is a PhD in physics from Université Laval uh, and specialized in photonics. During his PhD years, he designed a very high field depth laser scanning microscope system. He also has uh, in-depth experience with laser applications, optical components, detectors, optical fibers, and is also very proficient in several programming languages. He joined Morgan Solar in uh, early 2010, and since he's been at Morgan Solar, he's been applying his skills uh, and experience in optical design uh, and optical, uh, and has been working on, on improving their, their optics and uh, taking into account atmospheric optical transmission and the development of their metrology system. Please welcome Dr. Altsfou. Okay, first, uh, thank you for inviting me to talk here today. Uh, I'm Pascal Dufour. I work for Morgan Solar as an optical scientist. So today I'm going to talk uh, mainly about our uh, main product that is the Sun Simba. So first, uh, what is Morgan Solar? It's a uh, Toronto based uh, technology startup that have been founded in uh, 2007. Uh, the first product to the market is the Sun Simba and uh, Sun Simba is a highly efficient, low cost, uh, hi uh, high concentration photovoltaic solar model. Uh, the key to the Sun Simba design is that it's very simple to manufacture and assemble, it's completely sealed, and it's affordable. So I'm going to start uh, doing a little uh, introduction about uh, what is CPV. Uh, on the left here, you see a uh, uh, typical silicon uh, flat panel. Uh, the light intensity on the silicon panel is, by definition, one sun. Uh, with CPV, on the right, you see uh, an image. Uh, we use, a, it could be a final lens, it could be mirror or a waveguide, as in our case, to concentrate the light on a very high efficiency cell. Um, the light concentration on the cell, in that case, is uh, approximately, can be as high as a 1000 sun. Uh, the main difference uh, is that we replace the majority of the semiconductor that are usually expensive with inexpensive optic that are, are done uh, with uh, plastic. Uh, another big difference is that uh, this, uh, the panel has to track the sun, uh, like the previous speaker told you. Uh, so, because of uh, how it's done, it it's only accept the direct normal radiation of the light, so no diffuse light can be, can be captured by the system. But the efficiency is better. It's, it can be higher. It usually be, it's, it's usually higher than 25%, and the cost can be lower than the normal PV. So on the top uh, right picture, you see a triple junction, an image of a triple junction cell that we use in our setup. So to make it simple, like what a triple junction cell does is that it split the, here we see the solar spectrum, it split the solar spectrum in the three uh, spectral band. So the top layer of the cell absorbs the blue radiation, the middle part of the cell and the two other um, spectrum bands are transmitted to the, on this layer. So the middle one absorb uh, the red part of the spectrum, and the germanium bottom cell absorb the infrared part of the spectrum. So these uh, cells are like 40% efficient, and uh, this I think the world record is now like 42, and in the past 10 years, the efficiency of the cell increased by uh, approximately 1% every year. So we're not doing like um, cell development. We're using a commercial cell. We're, we're uh, working on the concentrator. So here on this slide, I do a comparison of the different solar technology. Uh, first, the thin film technology is a low cost with a low efficiency. Uh, silicon PV have a higher cost with medium efficiency. And traditional CPV, is uh, 
more expensive but have higher efficiency. So the goal of CPV is to make it uh, low cost as well as high efficiency. Okay, so this is a picture of uh, our product. The, it's the third generation of the Sun Simba Optics. So uh, we inject the light in the light guide, as you can see on the right here. And the light is going to the center and, fo and uh, focused on the solar cell. Uh, here we compare what's the dif main difference between our uh, design and the other uh, CPV technology design is mainly the thickness of uh, the optics. So we use here is a kind of a light guide that brings the light to the center. Like the competition would do a frontal lens uh, based system or mirror based system with which uh, will have like a, a focal length that is longer. So we have, uh, they have to use a more material to build a concentrator. So what are our advantages? Like I said, we can use a fewer material to build, to build a concentrator. Here we have a picture that represents uh, what material we use uh, to build one concentrator. So we use uh, acrylic, aluminum, there's a little bit of glass, and uh, also there's a triple junction uh, PV cell. And or, uh, and our optic is pretty simple uh, and low cost to manufacture. That's another advantage too. Uh, other advantages is that we have a very good thermal performance, and we have a, uh, also a sealed. We have also a sealed monolithic system. This means uh, it's impossible for dust or humidity to go inside the, the optic uh, because everything is sealed around. Uh, for uh, the result is a lower cost and a very good performance concentrator. The efficiency uh, is uh, will be higher than 25 percent, and we have path to bring this to uh, 30 percent and higher in the future. And uh, the performance of uh, our optic is up to 50 percent higher. The, the, the power output is up to 50 percent higher per year than the silicon uh, thin film panels. Okay, so what's next uh, for the company? Like in uh, this year, we're gonna do a lot of tests and uh, demonstration of the technology. Uh, we're gonna, we're presently doing also the product certifications to international uh, standards, and we're also uh, ramping up a manufacturing facility in uh, Ontario as well as in California. Uh, in 2012. Um, we want to have a large scale ramp up. We also want to uh, enter the markets of India and Africa. And uh, here we s you can see a picture of uh, our demo site uh, in uh, Toronto. So on the right side of this slide, we have um, uh, the, uh, a list of all the demo sites that we have. So we have a 10 kilowatt that is installed in uh, Toronto, in uh, like it's right where Morgan Silver is. We also have a six module in operation of the second generation at University of Ottawa, here somewhere on the rooftop of one of the building. And uh, six more of the third generation will be delivered on the uh, in the second semester of this year. Uh, our biggest uh, demo site will be in uh, California, in, uh, in Ontario. Uh, we're gonna have 250 kilowatt in California. Uh, this set is under preparation. They will, uh, they will be installed in the second uh, semester of this year, maybe the third, and as well as uh, one in Ontario. We also have additional uh, sites planned uh, for this year in Spain, Chile, and India. Okay, so this is uh, the slides that present uh, which, uh, what company are in this thing in the Morgan Solar. And also, I'd like to thank all the funding and supports we have from uh, government organization. Thank you.
To, so what I mean, uh, the plan to increase the efficiency, for sure the triple junction cell will be more efficient just by themselves. But also we have a plan to uh, improve our, the optical efficiency of uh, our concentrator too. There's several things that we can, there's, we, we already know how to do it. It's just if uh, it's cost effective or not effective to find a way to make it cheap and uh, reliable. Pascal, I just wondering about the optical design aspects. You're an optical designer, so I don't know if you could, are able to tell us a little bit about the challenges and the considerations in your optical design. Okay, uh, the question was uh, to give a little bit more information about the optical design. Uh, I cannot give too much information about the optical design because it's uh, we're still working on that and it's uh, something a bit secret, but. Where it's, uh, it's simply like we use an optical element to bring the light inside a light guide that brings this light uh, to the solar cell in the center. But mm. So yeah, the light guide is it's, it's, uh, approximately a flat uh, a flat plastic uh, plate. So the light, once the light is inside, uh, the light is reflected by total internal reflection uh, towards the center of the cell. Because the reflection index of the plastic or is higher than the air, when the light uh, is, is at the interface, it's reflected back without losses compared when if you use like a mirror to reflect the light, there's always some loss, but with total, total internal reflection, there's no losses uh, to the reflection. Any more questions? When you are using the optics, I think you are increasing the temperature of uh, the final cell, right? When you are concentrating, so mm -hmm. what is the maximum temperature that you know you can achieve? And my understanding is that when you increase the temperature, you will decrease the efficiency. So. How do you get that increased efficiency? Yeah, so... Okay, so yeah, the efficiency will decrease for sure with temperature, but this effect is, uh, it's less important with uh, triple junction cell than uh, silicon cell. But uh, to overcome that, we use like a aluminum uh, heat sink, so the temperature of the cell is never a big problem for the performance of our uptick. Uh, I'm not allowed to give a like, price uh, per watt, but it will like uh, it will it can be very cheap uh, when it's manufactured to big scale like. For sure, it, will, it can be cheaper than the silicon price for now. But I don't have a real number to give. Last question. Uh, I'm a bit confused about the efficiency versus performance. I'm trying to understand that from a simplistic point of view. What is the total efficiency I'm looking at or performance I'm looking at compared with the fixed EV panel in terms of total efficiency? Like, well, uh, like the efficiency of uh, PV is usually, usually like 15%. With CPV, the efficiency is uh, higher than 25%. So for sure you get more uh, power output per, per meter square. But the main uh, thing is it needs to be also cheaper than, uh, than P, uh, normal PV. So that's the, the main challenge for CPV. Yeah, you, if you want a 
information on that, you can uh, like uh, contact the business development team of uh, Marine Solar. They will be happy to answer that, that question. I don't exactly know what this uh, number, so I'm not involved in the finance stuff. And <laughs>